Hi everyone, thank you for joining this week's AJI Tech Corner. Today we will be going over Google Voice. With this tool, you can make and receive calls for free right from your Gmail account. And before we begin, I would just like to share with everyone our goal at Allison James is to always give back to our agents by providing education, training sessions, live webinars, live events, and full broker support with the most up-to-date tools and technology available. We are always looking for new tools and ways to be able to provide them to our agents at a lower or discounted price. So you can keep your hard-earned money for the important things in life and the people you love. We have created here the AJI University, which gives you access to all of our recorded educational webinars, our event calendar to view and register for our upcoming webinars and live events, and tons of free tools. This site is open to all agents, so please feel free to log in today. And Allison James Estates and Homes is a nationwide brokerage which offers 100% commission and 100% support. Why split your commission if you don't need to? You've earned it all, so shouldn't you keep it all? With plans starting at just $35 per month, we have plans that cater to agents of all levels of production. As Allison James continues to grow, we will be providing more of these free tools to help you grow your business. Now let's get started. Um, as I mentioned, with Google Voice, you can make and receive free calls uh, to the US right from your Gmail account. Uh, you can also add the app onto your phone and you can receive your Google Voice calls on your cell phone without paying for an extra line or giving out your personal number. So I'm going to show everyone how to add this onto their Gmail account right now. If you are logged into um, your inbox, you will see the, um, the box here that will pull up all of the Google apps. Now, to get to Google Voice, you will click on More and Even More, and it will open up a new tab for you. This will show you all of Google's products, and if you haven't checked out all of the products and apps that Google has, I definitely encourage you to do so. They have a ton of great things available in here. But to get to Google Voice, just scroll down here, and over on the left-hand side, you will see Voice. So once you click on that, you will get to your startup page. So um, getting started here, all you need to do is accept Google's um, terms and privacy policy. Click on proceed, and it will start creating your account. So um, you can either use your cell phone number, um, but that would defeat the purpose of having the second line. So I encourage you to um, create a new number. So just click on this. And um, before choosing your Google Voice number, please add a forwarding line. So this is where you would like your Google Voice number to ring to. So I'm going to put in my cell phone number because I'd like to add the, um, the app onto my cell phone. So once I click on that, I will just click on continue here. They are going to call and um, you can click on call me now and enter the following verification code. So my cell phone should ring here any second. And then you will just need to type in, here it is. Just type in the verification code. And it says your account is now active. So just two seconds to set it up. Um, when anyone calls this number, it will ring to all of your phones. So to search for numbers in your area, you can either type in the zip code, um, the area, or the city. So I'm going to put where I am right now, 33950. Search for numbers. There are none available at this time. And um, so I'm going to do uh, the zip code for Carlsbad, California. If you search around a little bit, the areas right around where you're at, you will find one. Um, but Google Voice is getting popular, as you can see. So I'm just going to click on this first one here. Um, that will be my new Google Voice number. So then I'm going to click on Continue. And I have successfully set up Google Voice. 
As a reminder, your, um, your cell phone Google Voice number will appear here. Just click on Finish. And as you can see, this will be your, um, when you click on Google Voice from the Google Apps here, this is what you will see. So this is your Google Voice inbox. If you receive a voicemail, it will be transcribed and you can read it. You can also play it and simply call the person back by clicking on the call button here. Very easy. Um, anyone can also text your Google voice number and the text will also be transcribed. You will see it in your um, Google voice inbox as well. So you can keep track of everything in here. Now, if you would like to call someone, um, you can either call from, um, from your Google Voice inbox here, just type in the phone number and click on connect. Or, like I had mentioned, you can call from your, um, from your Gmail inbox, which is really, really neat. All you need to do is um, over on the left hand side where you have your chat, you will see the, um, the phone calls button here. So if you click on that, all you need to do is type in the phone number here, click on call, and um, you will need to add the Google Talk plugin. <clears throat> so just click on learn more. It will give you instructions if you don't have the Google Talk plugin, um, which includes Google Hangouts where you can make video calls to other people. So you will need to install the plugin on here if you do not have it already. And um, so, but I do have it on my other account. And let me just show you what that um, what that looks like. I'll bring this over. Okay. And if you can just bear with me here, I will show you that it um, appears on the on the new Google Hangouts. If you click on calls, type in the phone number here. 941-209-9932, click on call. And as you can see, it's calling right from my inbox. So um, this will call my cell phone right now and you probably will hear it ring. And it just called my cell phone. Now the phone number that is showing up on there, I'm sorry, now you can hear me. The phone number that was showing up on there was my Google Voice number. So no one knows um, your private number. It's a great way to add just another line onto your cell phone. You can download the Google Voice app really easily just by going to the App Store or, um, or the iTunes. Uh, I'm not sure what the Apple one is, but um, you can download it from the Google Play Store or the App Store and um, just add it right onto your phones. Also, another great feature with Google Voice is that um, when anyone calls your Google Voice number, it asks them for their name. So they will state their name and after they do that, it will then ring um, to your phone or to your email when you click on answer, it will tell you who's calling. So at that point, you can either answer the call or you can send them to voicemail. So it's a great way to screen calls as well. So if you um, have never heard of Google Voice, I hope this is something that you um, are going to use and enjoy. It's definitely a great thing. I use it, I have it on two of my Google accounts and I can tell you it really comes in handy especially with the transcribed voicemails um, and text messages. So um, that is it for today's presentation. I am going to um, go ahead and stop the recording, but I will stay on to answer anyone's questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to type those into the questions box for me.